For look number 13, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to use the same uh, rock and roll type pattern, that the, the same jam track actually, as we did in uh, for look number 12. Uh, some, and, and something similar as far as uh, the, uh, just the, the idea of a double note and just moving it to match, match the, uh, the, the chords that you're on. Um, this is in an, in, in, this is kind of an interesting one uh, because uh, the, the previous lick, number 12, uh, we were basically hitting the, the, the fifth and the root of the chord of each of the chords uh, if we followed the chords uh, and we just followed it uh, the, 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 with the same fifth and root uh, for the four chord and for the five chord. Uh, with this one, with lick number 13, what I'm going to show is it's going to be played the same way, but you really only have to move a fret or two to get the uh, uh, to get to where, where you want to go to, to do the harmonies I'm going to, I'm going to show here. So the, the first one on the on the one chord, the B flat chord, we're going to play this lick here, which is first finger sixth fret of the fourth string, and second finger uh, seventh fret of the third string. So that's that'll be the lick for the, the the four chord. I'm sorry, the the one chord, the B flat chord, and it'll be kind of a we, we can basically follow the same, and you can vary the the rhythm pattern. I'm probably going to vary it as I'm playing through this to show you. Uh, when we go to the four chord, so oh, let me just explain what each of those notes are. That's re the the first finger on the sixth fret of the fourth string is the flat seven of the uh, the, the B flat chord. The second finger on the third string at the seventh fret is the third of the chord. So we have a flat seven and a third of the chord. So there are a couple of a couple of strong uh, chord tones we're playing for the one chord. When we go to the the four chord, what we're going to do, uh, all we have to do is go down one fret with both fingers. So now the first finger will be on the fifth fret of the fourth string and the second finger will be on the sixth fret of the third string. That'll be for the four chord, for our E flat chord. Now, instead of the flat seven and third, they, they basically swap positions. So now the first finger is playing the, the third of the four chord, because the root of the four chord would be, would be on the sixth fret. I'm just showing you what this is, we're not using it right now, but the sixth fret of the uh, fifth string would be the E flat note, so its third is here on the fifth fret of the fourth string. And the flat seven, just comparing the root and the, the flat seven there, and the, so the flat seven is on that sixth fret of the third string. So we just go down one fret for the four chord, and again the third and what what was the uh, the flat seven and third are now the third and flat seven of the four chord. For the five chord, um, is the five chord is two frets higher than the four chord, and the notes have the same uh, positioning, so it's still the third on the fourth string. Uh, this will be for the, the F chord. The third of the chord is on the seventh fret of the fourth string, and the uh, flat seven is on the eighth fret of the third string. Um, so for the one chord, we're on the, that sixth first string that's sixth at the sixth fret. We're only on the third and fourth, the fourth and third strings uh, for this. First fingers on the fourth string, second fingers on the third string. So that's for the one chord. Down one fret for the four chord. Then it's actually going to go back to the one chord. So you all have to do is go up one fret, so you're back to the one chord. And for the five chord, you're going to go up one more fret from where the one chord was, so just one fret up. Again, keep in mind, that's really two frets away from where the four chord is, if you think about the four chord, four chord, and the five chord that way. But you're on the one chord, so to get to the five chord, where the notes swap are swapping positions, uh, the third and, and flat seven, um, you just go up one fret. And then we're going to go back down one fret. So we only have to, for the one chord, so we only have to go up or down one fret at a time for this uh, progression. So here's the progression, and I'll play that lick against it. So it starts on our B flat. Two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Down 
fret. Back up. Up one more fret. And down one fret. Now varying the rhythm a little bit. One more verse kind of using the lick number 12 and lick number 13. That's another uh, uh, easy one you can add to your uh, arsenal of licks. Okay, so that was lick number 13.